Oh, okay. Good job. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's live. And we were just a um, few people were just uh, coming in. So I just wanted to give it a few minutes to let everybody in. Veronica has joined us. And I'm trying to see all these names at the side. Herma, if I've missed anybody, my apologies, but it scrolls as people are coming in. But I just wanted to say hello again. And my name is Denise Arminio, and I am a certified emotion code, body code, and um, certified group energy facilitator. And I love working with the genius. It is my passion. And we have Claire here to help us today. If you have any questions, she will help navigate the chat for us. So keep checking there or add, enter your questions there if you have any. And today our guest, our volunteer is Dr. John Sargent. And um, John, would you like to tell us uh, what you'd like to work with today? Well, I've just come through in the last month, uh, an emergency operation um, where I had a blocked colon that came on me over a three day period. And um, fortunately I was able to get into hospital for emergency surgery and I came out on the right side. So um, that was very good. And I've been cleared uh, from the whole organ side of my body. However, once the uh, the hematologist got a hold of me. Uh, they are telling me that I may have a rare blood condition that uh, needs to be adjusting. And as a doctor of natural medicine, I'm not in favor of uh, going through chemotherapy and I'm using the bioenergetic fields to work with me. I have a number of colleagues that work together with me, uh, but I've been in this field now for quite a number of years. And the Genius is just a wonderful program. Uh, I know its roots, I know where it comes from, and it's doing a great job in balancing. So <clears throat> everybody has their, their way of doing things and seeing different areas. And I'm, I'm obviously looking to coordinate with like-minded people to have a proper library that we could probably put together that could help my rare blood condition that they are telling me I have to come back into uh, area. I am working in the lower percentile of hemoglobin where I am below or on the low, lower side of the bell curve where I operate a low blood, um, blood hemoglobin of 77 where a normal range is 160 to 190. So they're trying to fit me into their box by forcing medications on me, which I am not doing. All my life, I have lived at this area. So if I could step up my autoimmune and my, um, I don't feel fatigued. I'm a very energetic person. Uh, I work very hard. I'm 70 years of age, going on 45. And uh, I'm still very, very active. So that's kind of it in a nut nutshell. And it, it's more on the autoimmune system side that I'm looking for things. Okay, great. And um, also, what are some of the symptoms that you're experiencing? Well, that's the mysterious part is uh, I have spent 17 days in hospital without any type of um, differences for me, but the blood work keeps coming up that I should not be operating at this level. So it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a mystery to me, actually. And it's definitely a mystery to the medical professionals. So we've decided to agree to disagree and I'm going forward on the bio, bioenergetic side. So okay. my symptoms, my symptoms are I feel well, I'm very energetic. Uh, Dr. Drake is on as well today. He's been my overseeing physician um, and we're, we're just coming up. We've cleared everything out, H. pylori and and all other areas that we thought may uh, be off. So we just thought we'd take a, I'd volunteer with you for a scan um, just to see what our, our genius minds come up with. Okay, so let's begin, shall we? Um, I have your yep. name in, in already loaded. 
That is Dr. John Sargent. Um, what is your date of birth? The 20th day of February, 1952. You just had a birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Okay, so for everybody that's new here that is just learning the genius, um, I just entered all his credentials in and I'm about to hit next on the bottom. And I'm just gonna put up top here, autoimmune. And, and going to go to the next screen. And just for everybody also who's new to this, um, this user record is just that. It's just records. It has nothing to do with the scan, but I just wanted to put a little something in there. Okay, so I'm going to hit begin. And Zoom just interfered here. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to take a quick, um, your picture here, John. And I'm going to count you down and say three, two, one, begin. Um, and when I do, I think you're familiar with this, but those who aren't, if you can just say your name and the vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and repeat those vowels until the 15 seconds is up, you'll see a white line going across the screen um, right in the middle. Okay, you ready? Very good. Three, two, one, begin. My name is John, A-E-I-O-U, A-E-I-O, U, A, E, I, O, U. That's great. And I'm just gonna, um, on the bottom left, you see the voice harmonics here. And what that actually does is it will show you how the genius has changed the recording um, that we just made into frequencies. I don't know if you could hear that. It is very low pitched, but it was there. Um, and now I'm gonna hit next, which is on the bottom right corner. Is everybody hearing me okay? I know sometimes. Yeah, my... loud and clear. Okay, great. Um, okay, so I already took um, John's a screenshot of his picture. So now I'm going to just hit existing photo and adding that. And now I could hit begin analysis down on the bottom. And then we just hit continue. And here in this screen, um, it gives us an opportunity to um, put an affirmation in. And what the genius does here, it will um, turn the affirmation into a frequency and it will be like another layer. So that frequency will overlay over all the other um, frequencies when we run a scan later. So is there anything specific that you'd like to leave here, John, put in here? I, I actually use Today is the first day of the rest of my life and I will rejoice in it. All right, I think we got it all. I'm just gonna hit okay. And now I can hit begin analysis down at the bottom. Okay, so 
Now what we're seeing here is we're seeing the different um, areas, um, categories, um, headings that the genius has in it. And after the scan, the genius is showing us where the um, major energetic disturbances. So it's saying it's in your body is where um, is the priority to work on. And then the mind, and then something in my libraries, and then the biofield. The, num the numbers on the right of your screen, those, um, the genius uses the range of numbers from zero to 777. And we can start from zero to 100. The numbers in that range are represented by the color blue. And those would be um, energetic disturbances that are more chronic. You've had them for a longer period of time. So there's been more stress there. Um, in Chinese medicine, um, those would also be observed to be like stagnant energy. Then from 101 to about 450, those values are represented by the color green. And then we go from 451 to about 688 is represented by the color yellow. And then 689 to 777 is represented by the color red. And those would be um, energetic disturbances that are acute, meaning uh, present happening now. Um, and it's also observed in Chinese medicine that this could represent heat or inflammation. When we are running the scans on the areas where we focus or putting more attention on, we do tend to um, look at the range of numbers from 600 and above and 200 and below, even though some of those um, numbers in that range are represented by the uh, colors yellow and green. We have found that when um, we do the scan and the progressive insights, many of those yellows and greens may show up as high as the algorithms of the genius are showing us the, um, how all the items uh, relate to one another, their, their relationship. So um, you will see me at times adding 600 and above and 200 and below. However, um, on the bottom, you see a red banner that says quick balance. When we use that balance, the genius will run all reds and all blues that you're seeing on that panel or screen at that time, which is a really nice way to do a quick balance um, if you need to. On the left-hand side, you see some uh, down arrows or accordion looking arrows. And that is just letting us know that there is more information beneath these we can call them libraries or panels. It just allows us to go another layer deeper. So if I were to hit on, let's say this top line herbs, you can now see we have a list of all the different herbs and you can see how they relate on that same number range that we were just talking about. The other thing I like to look at right away when I do a scan is I like to go into um, if you click on system overview up at the top, it brings you to general overview. And what this does is it's the expanded version of the system overview. So it's not just the libraries, but it's everything that's um, included in each of those libraries. And then it's reorganized uh, numerically. So I'm gonna hit begin analysis here. <laughs> So now we have a much bigger picture. So now we can see right now, if we wanted to look at your top five or your top 10, we see uh, your gallbladder 18 meridian um, is out of balance. Your today's stress, your blood sugar, your large intestine 10 point, your stomach 37, your immune, your heart meridian, those would be all energetic disturbances that are happening now that are more acute. If we touch on or click on general overview again, it will give us the bottom view so we could see the lower range. So here we could see your governing vessel point 24, 
your esophagus, your bladder point 11, your cervical uh, five uh, vertebrae, spiritual protection in general, and your biofield uh, conception vessel 13, those have been out of balance for a longer period of time. They're, so they're showing as chronic, which is why that they're blue. It is also important to note that um, low values do not mean a deficiency and high values do not mean an excess. They're just um, telling you that there's an out of balance and the highs are telling you that they're more current and the lows are telling you that the stress has um, been there more chronically. Okay, so I'm gonna move the timer up to the top, which is here on the right-hand side. And right now um, I'm gonna click the yellow circle and it will change the time to zero minutes here. Um, actually, I'm just gonna put it on one minute and I'm gonna run a quick balance. So the quick balance right here is uh, a lot because we're looking at all the items in the genius except for any libraries. So there are a lot of reds and blues and I didn't scan, but there, there will be, if you continue to scan, you'll see the greens and the yellows too. It's just that there are several, a ton of pages. Okay, so you had 51% rectification on that. So that's really great. Um, I'm usually happy if we get 40%. Um, and I will usually run my scans till I, I get a minimum of 40%. Although since this is a demonstration and I have to do a little bit more talking, um, I won't necessarily do that on every item. But you had 51%, so that is great. That's also a probability. So it doesn't, we don't know which ones have balanced or harmonized, but we do know probably about 50% of them did. So that's great. May I ask when you do a, a one when you do a one minute timer, it, it automatically allocates to each of those frequencies. So more is not necessarily better. It's just a case that each frequency is being addressed. And you got a 51% degree of probability rectification. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes, more is not always better. I usually tend to run um, scans longer with more acute issues or um, fresh injuries or something that's just happened. But um, Again, it, it's more is not always better. Sometimes the body just getting little impulses quickly uh, can be just as effective. It, I really just go by, I agree. you know, what, what the percent rectification is. If the percent rectification is low all the time, for the first thing I check is hydration. Is the client hydrated? Am I hydrated? And um, often that will help bring up the percentages if it's not there, I usually try to add some type of solution into um, the the um, scan because sometimes just one item could could just be all it needs to kind of break through that stagnation and allow uh, the client to just get more energy flow. But it's really just um, I I always say use your intuition and what you're guided to do and let the genius do all the heavy lifting for you. It really, it really does a lot for you. So 
everybody should take advantage of that. Listen to those messages from the group. Yeah, yeah, okay. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so I do like to look at though, just to get an idea of what's going on and what it's seeing for you, um, today's stress. So it's showing blood sugar, your immune system up at the top. We can look at bacteria possibly, but that doesn't mean it's bad bacteria necessarily because we have all types of bacteria in our body, good and bad. It just means whatever it's looking at, it's out of balance, right? We could have good that's out of balance, bad that's out of balance. Um, then on the bottom, nutritional and liver. Um, so I'm just gonna add the blues here and the reds. I'm going to add inflammation. Um, I'm going to add where to go. I'm going to add acid in there and I'm going to add cardiovascular. And I'm just adding those because I was just drawn to had those based on what you told me. Um, for someone that's not used to using their intuition or their gut, it, you can just work with the reds and blues or 600 and above and 200 and below. Um, the other thing I want to look at here is body systems. And again, immune is showing up, nervous system, digestive, endocrine. Um, so I'm going to add those. I don't think it will take immune because it, we've already added it. Organs. Oops. Spleen, I'm gonna add, cause that has a lot to do with immune. I add your heart, gallbladder, pancreas. And I'm going to work on your minerals quickly. And I'm going to add all the minerals right now to the um, quick sap. And one thing I forgot, and my apologies, we got talking. Let, let's just get your aura picture. I realize we just did a little bit of a scan, so it's not the exact what it looked like beforehand, but. Okay, so here for the scan, we see some kind of greens, blues in here. They're more on the pale side or a little bit dirty colors looking in here. So what I like to look for when I'm working with a client is to see a progression of the, uh, and to see bright, bright, vibrant colors. And those will be the colors of the chakras, the different colors that we'll see. And when it's muddy or pale is just a sign that either one, some over-processing, if you've been working on yourself a lot that day or using a lot of items that you're scanning, or um, it could be a stagnant energy that we're trying to break up. So I just wanted to point that out. And so we're back at the quick zap. So I've added, I believe I've added them all. Yes, we have 22 items. I'm just gonna add this for a minute down here for you and run these quickly.
Okay, so you had 40% uh, average rectification on working with your minerals up here. So that is, um, that is good. And then um, the other thing I wanna look at quickly before we start really um, having a lot of items in the main whole tray is your spiritual protection. And I'm just going to add all of them. Although it looks pretty good, I have to say at first glance, but I'm just gonna add all of them to the main whole tray. And I'm gonna run those. I'm just gonna... Um, look at the ones that are the spiritual protection though here. Sometimes when uh, I get talking, I forget to look at these right away, so. So even though they're showing as low, I'm just gonna run all of these quickly and see what happens. A lot of times if I rescan it, some of those may turn into highs. but I am going to rescan this. So I'm just going to, you know, look here, dark forces, protective jewelry, releasing attachments, cutting cords, psychic attack. Let's just see where they end up after we just did that. Sometimes there's different layers. So we can see that a lot more of those work their way up. I'm gonna keep these in here. I'm not gonna to spend too much more time in here, but um, I do like to spend a lot of time in the uh, spiritual protection and I will run it a couple of times. It didn't give us a rectification, but I would like to see 40% on that as well. So now we can go back to where we were um, under body and we looked at, um, today's stress. We looked at some of your organs and body systems. We worked with um, the minerals. Want to add, include your spinal energy. And we're going to use the 600 and above and 200 and below here. And We got all of those. And I just wanna see what comes up for herbs. I'm gonna add these herbs just because those may be good solutions for you to have for whatever is going on with you. Okay, so now we can move into the mind. There's nothing, no reds or blues here. We do know that when we did the general overview, we had 51% rectification. So that's great. So a lot of these may have been addressed, um, but I always still look, like to look at um, the emotions. And so we can add the reds and the blues here, as well as look at the Bach flower essences. We have chicory. I'm gonna add these ones that are 600 and add these blues. Um, 
And I'm going to look at your bio field now. I want to look at the meridians. I always add the governing meridian and the um, conception vessel. So I'm going to add the reds and the blues, but I also want to get the first point and the last point of this meridian because sometimes just having um, activating like the first and last point just can help the flow of the whole meridian itself. And the conception vessel is in the front and here we're gonna run the reds and the blues. And again, I'm looking for the first and last point. So here's CV1 and CV24. And I'm just gonna add the bladder meridian. We hit uh, spiritual protection. We can look at uh, the next, I wanna get this veggio tones and make sure I'm grabbing 528 regardless of where it is because that's the frequency that helps with miracles and DNA repair and transformation. And then we can add these blues and the red up top. And the nosiers. Now all these, I know I haven't been going into explaining um, much of these because we talked a little bit in the beginning and I don't wanna run out of time here, um, but I can tell you that L is brain function, right and left brain communication. Um, it could also be concentration, memory, depression, dyslexia. Um, OGAA is one of the universal frequencies, and that's energies, eyes, post-surgery, and wounds. And C has to do with musculoskeletal, tendons, ligaments, adrenals. E, you know what? I'm just going to add all of these for you. Um, G is also another universal fre frequency. Um, C also is important to note that it opens the energy of um, the heart, blood, lymph, ovaries, testes, spleen. So that is a good one for you, given that you do have some um, issues with the blood. And we can add some of these. I like to add the Fibonacci and a flower of life. And we could also add these blue ones. So now I'm going to go into our li my libraries to see what may also help you here. We're already at 100 items. So I'm just going to hit begin analysis. With loading it up to 100 items, does that not stress on the well, again, more is not necessarily better as long as things are touched. Well, on I'm right. trying to, on the demos, they usually get up 200, so I try, but it doesn't always mean that you're clearing 200 all the time. Although my first two scans that I do from Progressive Insights, I do work with all of them and then the highs. Um, but I, I've, I've worked with clients both ways, We're having a lot of items in the main hold tray and keeping them down smaller. If you want to really see them kind of all the highs turn to like mediums or lows, fewer in the main hold tray is better. But okay. um, again, it's, it, it's all kind of probability though, too. So um, if your body, if, if, even if you're sending 200 items it doesn't mean that your body is going to take in all 200 items because ultimately your body is only going to take in what it needs. So um, I'm trying to think where I want to go here with you. Um, um, your blood pressure is okay. Blood pressure is fine. It's, uh, yeah, it's all balanced out. All balanced out. And same with pulse. SpO2 oxygen uptake is 98%. Um, 
I'm going to do uh, this body repair. So I'm just going to add sometimes when I don't know what I'm necessarily looking for or may not have the correct library that may seem to go with it. I try to go to some of the libraries that look at getting to the root cause because sometimes the root cause, sorry, might um, have nothing to do with, um, sorry guys, I put this on mute. I don't know why that happened. Um, it, it may not have any relationship uh, from my experience and how I've been trained, anything can cause anything. So th there could be anything that can cause issues with your blood and it may not um, seem to make sense. If that and, that and that's what my sense is that there's something, there's something on a root cause that just needs the, the switch to be flipped to bring everything back in line. That's what I'm. Yeah, I, I'm actually. I, I also think I want to look at some of this this more spiritual libraries. I kind of think that there's um, a little bit something else at play, but let's look at the body voltage because that's a library that I have because that's always a good place to start too. And. So again, we have stimulating governing vessel. Um, have you had any dental issues? No. Um, So this is a really wonderful library that um, Connie uh, Minnis um, has made, and this is oxygen balancing. Um, so this can, just looking through some of these line items to see what might make sense even though they're not like red or blue. Mm -hmm. yeah. um. Then we have some wellness frequencies that I'm going to add here. And when in doubt, um, I am also going to add my archangels. Uh -huh. Just to give a little extra help, we could all use some extras here. So I'm going to run these. So now when I run a scan, um, I do start by running all, and I'll run them all for a minute, twice, and rescan in between. <laughs> Now 
are you feeling, John? Good. I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling rested. I don't feel any uh, imbalances at all. Okay, so you had 38% activation on that. Again, that's pretty close to 40. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to rescan up here on the top on right. I didn't get that. Okay. Could you try again? Sorry, series. Um, so now I'm going to run all of these again. So now you have 54% rectification. So that's really great. So now I'm going to rescan it one more time. And then we will run just the highs for three minutes. Forty seconds.
Okay, so again, we had 50%, 56% rectification. So, and John, just to your point before, there were almost 200 items or maybe a little bit over and we still got a really good um, percent rectification on that. So a lot of times it just really, it really depends. I, I can see it. Well, it's it just amazing how it, yeah. yeah. So um, yes. I'm going to go look now at your aura and see how that's doing. And then um, I want to look at just giving you some like solutions or essences maybe to help. How am I doing, Deb? <laughs> Okay, so we're bringing in some more colors. It's still, you know, it's still a little muddy looking, but um, let's see what happens now when we look at some different essences. I am feeling like we need to look at um, these living tree essences. So there are a lot here um, and there's a bunch of blues on the bottom. I am just gonna run a quick balance on this. I'm gonna do one minute. good rectification on those um, living uh, tree orchid essences as well. You can take a quick peek to see how that, what kind of an effect it had on your aura. And so that's looking really great. It's coming in nice and bright. We still have some, you know, uh, like gray in here, but the energy is moving as you're looking at this picture from right to left. So we have some bright um, stuff coming in. We have a little bit of, you know, like a little brown looking in here, but we can just see, I will I'm just gonna add um, some, Well, again, it's understandable with the number of deficiencies that were there, we're still going to get some, some lagging, right? Right, right. So I'm just going to run, these are some um, gem elixirs, um, green garnet, grounds a person's energy, focus, and consciousness to the earth's plane. Um, just trying to see anything. But this will just help in a more... change 58%. So that's 
really great too. Um, let's see what your aura is looking like. Hopefully, maybe we'll see some other colors. I am starting to feel some fatigue coming on now. Yeah, do you normally get some fatigue uh, when with frequencies? Well, I think it's more a relaxation where things are calming down and- oh, Okay, so of, like a relaxed- Yeah, letting it settle in, that's what I'm feeling, yeah. Okay, good. Well, this is a really nice aura picture too. Again, we see some nice, bright, vibrant colors coming in here. We have some of the old colors um, that we just saw moving out and some others coming in. So um, I'm happy with that. I don't wanna, um, just trying to see what else, um, might be good for you. Um, why don't we try this one? Just a little vagus nerve. <laughs> um, and we can do one minute quick balance here too. The pharyngeal branch of the nerve is for after intubation and he's had a bit of a rough voice he said so if you ever see that pharyngeal nerve it really helps people's voice. I wasn't sure what you were pointing at, thank you. <laughs> If I may comment, you can see it's the air, lung, and large intestine, Chinese element. And he just had surgery on his colon, so this yin and yang disturbance between the lung and colon may need more balancing there. That is possible. We can um, go back to just see our, our nice aura may look a little not nice anymore after that, but let's just see. <laughs> <laughs> I may have, I may have thrown it off kilter. Hey, I was looking good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a few more minutes, so I just wanted to. So, I mean, again, we're bringing in some other colors. We can um, see what's going on there. Um, just trying to see. Uh, do I have five elements? Um, uh, we want that one. I don't know. Let's run a quick balance here. What do you think of those, Deb? go back here and go to my essences for a minute. Um,
I stopped that before the minute was up. So we're not going to get a rectification on that. But let's just see how your aura is looking after those two things, because we are about at the top of the hour now. So. So we're bringing in some more vibrant colors in there. So I'm happy with that. Are you Good. happy with that? Me too. Okay. Good. <laughs> I Me wish too. we had some way to like um, measure, but it's pretty hard to get for you to know how your blood is feeling right now. But um, you'll have to well, let us well, know. Well, I, I certainly will. I, I just like to say in closing, thank you very much for, for doing this, by the way. And and cooperating with, with the others, but the new to the genius that are looking at as a demonstration, I didn't say anything at the beginning, but just through the voice analysis, I just went through all the allopathic testing and just through our voice analysis, we're coming up with the same organs and areas that they were looking for. So feel confident in the technology and the development of it. And that's why I use it because I depend on it in, in what I do. Uh, because it is so accurate in what it comes forward with. So go with confidence. That's all. Well, that's awesome. And that's great. And, you know, I, I don't have a medical background, but, you know, I do have years of energy healing. And I do know that um, it is very validating in, in, in what it comes up with. Um, I see it all the time with clients. So yeah, very, very high degree of probability. Yes. So, but definitely um, email me at Denise at Inside Health Apps and let me know how you're doing. Or Debbie, you can let me know and let's maybe we can get you so you don't need any of those other <laughs> allopathic. Well, I, won't be, I won't be doing any of those other happening. So, uh, yeah, well, I'll keep in touch with you, Denise. Thank you very much. And I know you and Deb are going to be doing some work together as well. So that's great. All right. So everybody have a great day. Again, if you have any questions and they weren't answered here, you can either email myself at Denise at Inside Health Apps or Claire at Inside Health Apps. Um, Connie, I think you're here too. Connie's email is, or you can find her also on, um, in some of the Facebook groups in the uh, hub. Did I get that right, Claire? Yeah. So Anyway, everybody have a great day and um, love and light to everybody. And I will be here. Hope you will too next Thursday. And we will see you soon. And there I go. My phone's ringing already. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye, John. Feel well. Thank you. Bye-bye now. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Oh, uh...